4.5 billion years ago, in the high-performance race to become a planet, this glistening blue sphere made it to the winner's circle. But the competition was filled with chaos and violent collisions. But when the Earth was forming, rocks and boulders came screaming in much faster than the cars crashed when they ran into walls or around the cars. After tremendous perseverance, it became a special place in the solar system to sustain oceans, land, and life. Bacteria helped to create oxygen. We owe our heritage to the scum of the Earth. Despite modern disasters that now plague the planet, it still remains one of the most mystifying creations in the universe. Blast off aboard Spaceship Earth. Suppose extraterrestrials truly exist and want to tour planet Earth. They'd be in for the ultimate cosmic vacation. Earth, whose name may go back to the Greek word aras, meaning ground, is the third terrestrial planet from the sun. But when arriving, visitors will realize that it got its nickname the blue planet because three quarters of it is covered with water and vacationers will see that Earth is the only planet in our solar system where humans, or advanced life, exists. If you can breathe our oxygen-rich atmosphere, or breathe underwater, Earth can be explored without a protective spacecraft and space suit. But tourists will need to adjust their watches. It takes 365 days for Earth to orbit around the sun. And each day is 24 hours, which is the amount of time it takes the planet to rotate around its axis once. Despite travelers' warnings about deadly storms and civil wars, Earth is a relatively safe adventure destination. very special planet, just like a Porsche is a very special car, our planet was formed in just the right place in the solar system. In fact, it's the only place we know of in our entire solar system where plants and animals can live under natural conditions. Renowned astronomer Donald Brownlee has spent his career on a cosmic quest to solve the mysteries surrounding the origin of Earth. He says in the race to become a life-sustaining planet, Earth was in the driver's seat. But he cautions the ride was full of danger and intrigue. The Earth had many things that happened to it to make it the way it is right now. And many of these things did involve luck. 4.5 billion years ago, one corner of the universe experienced a colossal fireworks display. A massive but short-lived star exploded as a supernova. The blast from this star may have triggered the gravitational collapse of the cloud that formed the sun. Shortly after the sun formed, you had a lot of material orbiting around the sun. And this was microscopic stuff, ice particles, dust. A lot of it wasn't unlike the lint that comes out of your dryer. And it began to kind of stick together in little clumps. And eventually, some of these pieces became more like sand, little pieces of silicate mostly. And it began to stick together. And you begin to get little rocks, little boulders. 
As the boulders grew larger, so did the collisions. As two objects impacted, gravity held them together. Porsche is known for speed. Planets are also known for speed. When the Earth was forming, particles and rocks and boulders came screaming in much faster than these cars crashed when they ran into the walls or other cars. Through multiple collisions, infant Earth was formed. But it would take many more impacts for it to become the size it is today. To better understand the formation process, Pete Schultz and his former student Seiji Sugita are attempting to recreate the early impacts on Earth by using the vertical gun range at NASA's Ames Research Center. It's a warehouse-sized room housing a massive light gas gun, which looks more like a ballistic missile. The vertical gun launches projectiles at specified targets inside a vacuum chamber. The fact that this gun can load up in a different angle makes it really realistic in terms of comparison to what happened on the surface of Earth about 3.5 billion years ago. So we're going to fire this tiny quarter-inch aluminum sphere into the chamber. And we use this because it's, it has about the same density as an asteroid entering the atmosphere of the Earth. So it's going to slam in around three miles per second, about 10 times the speed of a bullet. It's going to be smashed to smithereens. The vertical gun will shoot the aluminum bead into the vacuum chamber filled with atmospheric gases. There, it will impact a sandy mound resembling early Earth's surface. We're in a vacuum chamber that will be putting back in a gas that will simulate what the early Earth must have looked like. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of craters what the early landscape of the Earth must have looked like. Because these things are happening all the time. There had to have been a lot of craters. OK. The plan is to come in, hit the center of the target, and watch the crater form. And you'll see the destructive power of, of, of this. Even though it's a tiny bead, it's going to do some real serious damage. Can you believe anything would survive? High-speed cameras will document the impact. Yeah. Schultz and Sugita nervously watch a monitor located outside the gun range. This is the part that kills me. <laughs> it's, it's like this moment before the storm. From a secure control room, an engineer flips several switches. OK, here we go. Schultz and Sugita mix science with a little superstition. Cross our fingers, cross our legs, cross our hands. OK. This is what drives me nuts. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Pow. Yeah. OK, OK, let's, let's take a look. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. The experiment worked. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, that is unbelievable. You, you, if we imagine this on the Earth, yeah. th these, these would be clouds that would be rolling at velocities that would be comparable to tornadoes. Yeah. Right, or even higher. Even higher. Yeah. I mean, see what happens. The video next. taken reveals a frightening and realistic picture of what happened on early Earth. That's a brilliant wake. Okay, okay let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Jeez. Oh. oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. That did some serious damage. Just imagine that this is the asteroid that slammed into the Earth. This must have been happening just repeatedly, doing real damage to planet Earth. And it's just a small scale example of what must have happened on the early Earth. Yeah. Some of the objects blasting into infant.